Hey everyone, it's Terry. I just returned from Texas and my grandson will be with me for a month. I'm sorry for the hiatus on the videos. I hope that you've been watching some of the other ones and learning how to use your machine. There are several new people in our group just stitching with the Brother Luminaire and I've seen some questions about embroiderable area. It's a question that comes up when anyone gets a machine and they're new to the Brother machines. If you notice, I have a four by four hoop and I have a template for this that came from my dream machine. The embroiderable area is this grid or this square that's four by four inches. If you put something up in this clear area above or move it to that, you're outside of that frame size. So one of the things I like to do is I like to go in and create that template on the screen by choosing the frame size and I'll choose a four by four because that's what I want to work with today. And let's just take a shape and we'll choose an octagon, design two, set it, and let's recolor it red so you can see it. All right, one of the things you'll notice up here at the top that this will fit in any of my hoop sizes. If I move it up inside this four by four frame, I'm okay until I move it outside of it and you'll notice that that's grayed out. It will also be grayed out on the screen here when you zoom in. You can see it in a five by seven, but you'll get an audible click if you try to choose the four by four. So in order to use that, you have to move it somewhere within your embroiderable field. Now let's resize this and make it larger. And what we'll do is go to edit and we'll move it into the center. And let's talk about if we wanted to add a basting box. Well, the first thing, I'll go into settings and I'm going to change it to the default value for the basting box. And let me go to the size because I want to see how large this is. And right now the basing box is 0 0.20. So let's, let's make this just slightly larger because I want to show you something. And we'll choose okay. Let's go to embroidery and let's add that basting box. You'll notice it's now outside of that embroiderable field because it's using the size that we applied to that basting box. Choose return go up to your settings again and let's go back to page nine and let's change this distance to 0.02 and choose okay now let's go back to embroidery let's go to layout deselect the basting box and select it again now it will fit in that embroiderable area so that's one way to resolve that problem now the other problem that I see so often, and let me delete what's on my screen, is that someone has brought a design in from my design center and they have touched their screen and they don't realize that they've done so. What we'll do is we'll choose a design, we'll choose this heart, let's resize it by going to size, we'll make this smaller, so it fits in that four by four area. Now let's just say for whatever reason, and I, I inadvertently applied a, a stitch and I thought I had erased it and it often happens. So we'll change the color so it's something that we can see and we'll choose this uh, go, go color and choose okay. So often what happens is we make marks on the screen and we don't notice that we make those marks. So we go to next. The first indicator is because you see this little red box around that mark and you can see it digitize those. Now I made them large enough that you can see it, but as I cycle through the stitches, that's my first indicator. I'm going to save this to memory because I'm going to pretend I didn't see it. And when I get into embroidery, here's another indicator. It now wants to use my largest hoop. So what we'll do is we'll delete it. And because we did save it in my design center in memory, we can recall it and we'll do that. And we'll recall that design. Now what I like to do is I like to use the selection handles and just take it and draw around the area and choose cut. 
And you'll notice if I tried to select a something and there's not something there, this will all be grayed out. Now we also know that we have something up above. So we'll do that. And you can see that the scissors are now available and we'll cut again and we'll choose close. Let's go to memory and save this design. We'll choose next and we'll set it. And when we set the design and go into our embroidery, what you'll see is it now fits in that four by four field. I hope this information is helpful to you. Join us in Facebook with the group, Just Stitching with the Brother Luminaire. That's my group and I'm an active participant. We have several wonderful people that are members of our group. And as you all know, the more brain power you have, the more of a genius mind you have. And if you like my videos, please like and subscribe to them on YouTube. Thank you everyone and have a great day.